what's going on everybody this is G from G's Android apps uh, coming back to you again with another Clash of Lords video I uh, just wanted to actually go ahead and show uh, one of the one of my favorite things <laughs> about this update is uh, is actually the heroes the heroes is actually pretty cool I know some people was actually kind of upset about the heroes coming out because they feel that it's actually a little bit more complicated but I don't feel that it's actually complicated. You know, it turned out to be pretty easy at least. Maybe it's because I played Clash of Clans. Um, I also do play uh, Clash of Clans and uh, Castle Clash. Uh, maybe it's because I played Castle Clash actually is what I meant. But it seems pretty easy. You have the heroes uh, with me being a, uh, at a Town Hall level 9. I have 5 uh, hero halls. And so this is really just some basic information. Uh, in the heroes hall you can recruit train and deploy and deploy heroes uh, it has a HP uh, uh, of uh, 5,000 and uh, basically what's going on and that's that's actually more than a sniper tower so you know it's a little bit I, I guess a little bit of a meat shield not really too much but so the uh, the heroes hall so in the heroes hall you have like select heroes now I don't have multiple ones showing up. If you have more hero cards of the same type of hero, uh, it would actually show here, and then you have the opp opportunity to actually show uh, where you can actually upgrade. Like let's say I had a, a rare, which is a purple uh, of the paladin, I would be able to see both of them here, and then also I would be able to select the purple as the uh, as the one that's actually sitting in the hall now the thing is is that if it's a new purple then it would actually end up being uh, level one now the cool thing is is that if you actually go to and also just to let you know you can actually switch through your heroes you can actually switch through them uh, now if you actually have a purple one it's a level one so if you have a lower level one but it's a, a, a better in color so like if you go on if you got a blue and you already have a green where you got a purple and you already got a blue uh, what you can do is you go to train and they'll be listed here uh, and what you can do is you can select on the better one uh, well first you would have to first put the the better one you have to select it as a hero so it would be two of them showing up here and then you have to select the better one uh, when you select the better one it puts him on the hero and then you'll see like a level one actually on the hero hall then when you go to it you actually click on the uh, the, the hero that you want to select and then what you can do is you click the uh, the one that's actually the the, uh, the 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 helmet with the up arrow. You select that, and it'll have the older the your previous hero. Like let's say you had like a level 17 and you got a level one purple, uh, but you got a level 17 blue. You can actually upgrade them by choosing the helmet with the uh, the helmet upgrade. The helmet with the up arrow, which I'm just say for now on, is just the uh, hero upgrade. Uh, so you select it, and it'll allow you to actually upgrade it. And the good thing about it is that whatever level that it was before is the level that it will make your your new hero. So if you uh, so if you up, if you use the 17 blue for for the level one purple, it'll make that level one purple a level 17. So that's cool. Um, now they all have different powers and anything like that. Like this lady, uh, Aurora, she does. She's a, a spellcaster, uh, and at when a bar gets up to a certain height, you'll see a lightning, a lightning strike, uh, and it's like a chain reaction. It'll hit like multiple targets. Uh, then there's also what other heroes? Here's my paladin. Uh, my paladin. He has like this, uh, he puts up like this shield for like eight seconds or something like that. Um, when his bar gets full, uh, Sunu, she has a, a chain of heals, so she's throwing an attack, but then she has a chain of heals. And I'll show you a raid, a, a pretty good example of that. And then the destroyer, he has like this, uh, this aerial of, of effect, it's like a circle around him, and he does this aerial effect damage. Um, and then there is uh, I've already said Aurora Boltmaster. So Boltmaster, uh, he has he's uh, he's uh, he actually is uh, he shoots uh, cannons, and he actually will shoot a stronger cannon blast uh, to a single target. Uh, from what I understand, the Paladin he has the shield that comes up. He's a melee uh, Sunni. She's a spellcaster. And destroyer, he's a melee as well. 
Uh, so I'm gonna actually show you one of my favorite raids because it's actually one of the best raids that I've had. It's actually a mil it's actually a million it's a million resources that I actually gathered. So that's the reason why it's my favorite. It's so much my favorite I haven't done any raiding since except for like some solo campaigns. Uh, but as you can see, 641,000 gold and 450,000 uh, potions. So I used all of my heroes and also used a line of. Uh, a line of uh, I did ten minotaurs, four bombs, three witches, nineteen wizards. I just mopped through the dude. Uh, sorry, but his defenses wasn't really that great. But it was honestly great for his level, I guess I should say. You know, but his walls wasn't really that high. It, his defense really, I guess, didn't stand a chance against the lineup that I have. So let's go ahead and actually look at that real quick. All right, so I started out with my minotaurs down below. Um, after them, after they pulled some of the aggro, then I had put in a couple of wizards, with, I mean, uh, heroes, which I didn't mean to do. And then there's my witches, there's my wizards, and then there's the rest of my heroes. So I'm going to try to follow these heroes so I can get like a, see, like uh, you have the green bar, which is the health bar. And here's Boltmaster. See, that green line that you just saw, that was, uh, that was the Sunu, which is actually casting the healing spell. And let's see if I can catch it again, or catch one of them, see if any of them are going to do anything. Alright, see, there's the green line again, and that's a healing spell. Alright, see, there's the chain lightning that from Aurora that actually does the, uh, now let's try to see if we can catch Destroyer or anybody up here. Come on. See, there it is right there. That's the destroyer. And then there's the paladin that put on his shield. Uh, let's see here. It looks like Boltmaster ended up dying somewhere down across the line. But, of course, as you can see, it just, like, killed through the raid. But those are their special powers that they do. I just wanted to show the folks that because, like, honestly, I was real excited about the update. I thought it was real cool. Uh... I'm going to try to do another video. Uh, actually, I'm going to do another video so I can show you um, the different raids. All right, this is G's Android Apps. Keep watching. I appreciate my subscribers. Shout out to uh, YouTube Guild, which is uh, Kumar's Guild. Welcome back, Kumar. And uh, shout out to all my guys that used to be in Secret Organize. All my people that was over there that went over to YouTube Guild. Um, but other than that, uh, stay tuned for more videos. Peace.